office filing his appellate paperwork, so he will have another review of the question of his release pending trial at the circuit court of Boston. We don't yet have a date for that. That's something we can organize with the circuit court clerk's office as well as with Mr. Bell's office. And so once we have information about when that will be occurring, I'm sure it will be in your desks. What were your thoughts about the AWOL conviction? Is that something you expect to see today? It's not something I can comment on right now, but I'd love to supplement that. Absolutely. One thing I do want to bring up, they were talking to Nikiva, who's the estranged wife, but I think he was bringing up 2018 charges against Dina Abul-Kareem. Yeah, it's my understanding that he got a little bit confused about which individual was on the stand, and he had never met her before. It's something that happens occasionally with drunk people. Can I ask you a question? I met you when you were trying to get into... Hi. Good to see you again. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I was trying to see, with the day me and you was outside, you was trying to speak to your client. Did he want an attorney at that time, or did he? My understanding is that there was a request for an attorney and for the ability to remain silent. That said, I just spoke with Mr. Bell this morning. There are recordings of what happened inside the police station for the duration of his stay there. He indicated that he's going to be getting those to me post-haste, that we can resolve those questions. Can you let us know what Mr. Bell was talking about with the Supreme Court ruling something more, well, a Supreme Court case more like the Tomlin case? Was he trying to make a similarity there as to why Mr. Bigsby couldn't come out? I believe he was trying to make an argument for expanding the considerations of the bond hearing beyond the statute we usually use to consider bond hearings. So when the judge said that, you know, he took into consideration this whole AWOL situation in the military, and then that would make, you know, him question his ability to appear in court, do you think that was a fair assessment? I understand any judge's concern whenever there is some sort of failure to appear. However, the way in which that came up leaves me with some questions that I'm, again, happy to supplement that answer later with once I have a better understanding. Do you know when that happened, that military conviction? Off the top of my head, no. Do you know Corey's mindset right now? I mean, you're one of the only people that are in contact in the past few days. I haven't spoken with him after the bond hearing. I'm certain he's disappointed, although he did speak about the possibility of bond being denied today and what would happen afterwards. So he is aware that his bond hearing has been appealed. What about his other kids? Like, are social services involved? I can't speak to that. Do you think your client is getting a fair trial so far? My hope is that when I review the discovery materials that any issues with whether or not his civil rights were violated will become clear. Again, there is a lot of material to review here in addition to the number of state and federal agencies that have been involved in the investigation and search for Cody. There are additionally at least 72 hours of video footage that will require review as well as multiple reports from multiple agencies. So a very thorough review of those materials will be necessary before we can make any solid calls about what we're going to do. I have one more question for you. Is he allowed any visitors at this time? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Is he allowed any visitors from his family at this time? I still couldn't. I'm sorry. Is he allowed any visitors at this time from family members? I don't believe that the jail will allow him other visitors other than counsel at this point. That's something I'd have to double check on. Usually it's an issue of someone being on the list of approved visitors, and there are set times of the week and days of the week in which he can receive those specific persons. What will you be doing between now and April 5th? Certainly I've been, again, in discussions with Mr. Bell about how to proceed with the wealth of discovery that's going to be coming forward in this case. Most pertinent are these videos. He's asserted to me this morning that he's going to be working on getting those to me as soon as possible. I discussed with him some of the concerns I had. He wants to make those available to me for my review. Obviously the written reports that are going to be coming forth in response to all of the investigatory work that's been done on behalf of Cody, those will be kind of rolling in as they come, and I'm certain that as they hit Mr. Bell's desk, they'll also be making their way home. What are those videos? There should be footage from Hampton Police Division headquarters of these interviews that were conducted between Monday and Thursday. Are you aware of any evidence tying him to the missing kids case found in the home since police have been there multiple times collecting stuff? I'm sorry, one more time. Evidence tying him to Cody's missing, his disappearance in general. Are you aware of any evidence tying him to that? No, I'm not aware of any evidence tying Mr. Bigsby to Cody's disappearance, specifically that he was at police headquarters for 72 hours and that these were the only charges that resulted and leads me to believe that the police did not find evidence that he was involved in Cody's disappearance, at least to a level in which they were confident charging him with it. Do your client plan on pleading guilty or not guilty in this case? I can't speak to that. Thank you. 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 Thank
can't comment on that right now. Obviously, we are in a position where we don't yet have the discovery materials, and there are several unanswered questions about how these statements were taken. And before I can make any solid uh, comment on how this case would proceed, I obviously need to do my due diligence in making sure that there haven't been any civil rights violations or other issues with how this was conducted. A lot of this family in the courtroom today, have you had a chance to talk with them either before or after? I've spoken with a great many of his family members over the last week or so. Will that plea come out in the uh, preliminary hearing? I uh, no. Um, pleas, pleas generally are taken at the circuit court level for felonies unless matters are reduced to misdemeanors. In Virginia, we have a bifurcated system of how we do trials. The lower court, the J and DR court that we have here, juvenile and domestic relations court, as well as the general district court here that's adjacent to us, are what are known as lower courts in Virginia. They don't have the authority to be able to resolve felony matters. A preliminary hearing is a hearing that will be occurring here in April that is asking the question, is there probable cause to support having a trial at the circuit court level? And that's the question that's going to be asked and answered on the fifth. Don't think it's going to be hard for him to say that he's not guilty of this when, according to court documents, you told police that he left these kids home alone? Again, I have questions that need resolved about the way in which those statements were collected. Do we have a nice court date? We do. Uh, April 5th, I believe it was. Yes? Yeah. What do you think Mr. of Anton Robert? Bell saying on the record uh, that time that your client is the chief suspect in the homicide of this kid? Um, I believe he's been told that by investigators. Uh, and that's the information he has. Is it fair to say that he lied um, about not being convicted of any crimes on the stand today? I don't believe he lied. I believe that when the question of whether or not you've been asked of a conviction came up, that he wasn't thinking about military convictions. Is that considered a conviction? An AWOL conviction? Is that considered a... I'll be able to supplement that once I look at a statute. On Friday when we talked to you, you kind of made it sound like he wasn't at police headquarters voluntarily, but then you did say in court that he was there voluntarily. So It, it is the Commonwealth and the police's position that he was there voluntarily for the entire stay of his duration from Monday until he was charged on Thursday. I very much noted that that was the Commonwealth's position because I, again, have not had an opportunity to review these discovery materials. It may very well be that those materials bear out his voluntary presence at police headquarters, but my client is telling me something and it's my duty to investigate on his behalf. So you don't think he was there voluntarily? I can't make any solid calls about that until I've had an opportunity to review the discovery materials. Did your client tell you what he think happened to his son? No. Um, Mr. Bixby is very concerned about Cody's whereabouts. Again, he is very thankful for every volunteer who has put forward time and energy trying to assist him in locating his son. He did advise me that he's given everything he knows over to officers so that they can use whatever information he has in order to assist in finding Cody. The witness, Nikita, the estranged wife, was she living in the home with him and the children up until this point? That is not my understanding, no. That's so can you explain the difference? I mean, that the, the woman who testified today was his ex-wife. Was she the mother? Was she the mother of any of the four kids living in the home? I or? do not believe she's the mother of the individuals that Corey was that, that are at issue in these cases. Okay, so she's the mother. She said she was the mother of several. I think several of his children. He has so other kids. children with with her. With his do you know how many? Okay, and does, do they live here in Hampton as well? No, I don't believe so. 757? No. I believe they are in the 757, yes. His Although I certainly don't want to comment further on okay, it. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you so you much. Sir. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Um,